nobody will force you to clap. When you know what hallelujah means, nobody will force you to shout hallelujah. Jam your hands together for Jesus. Just put your hands to the King of Kings. And say something better to the Lord that owns heaven and earth. Thank him because he's a father of all. Just open your mouth and say, There is no like you, God. To say that to God is another revelation from my book. Give him thanks, give him praise, give him worship this day. To enter his we just give you. Let his revelation be revealed to us in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Jamie wants to get up for Jesus as you have your seat. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to appreciate God for the privilege He has given to us. I want to say to Him alone be all the glory forevermore. I want to appreciate our Father in faith. I want to appreciate Him so much for the every privilege and opportunity given to somebody like me. And I'm not taking it for a ride. It is not just an opportunity. It is a privilege. And forever it means a lot to me. Only thing I pray for is that God will keep him up there for us in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me to turn your hands together in appreciation for that. Thank you so much. God bless you, sir. I want to thank all our fathers in the Lord here. I just pray that we end this journey in heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. Labor in the world. Labor in the world. That is what we are going to be treating tonight. And we are going to, I want us to at least give our attention into it. Uh, because it is whoever we receive from God that we are giving. And I want us to just put our heart into it. Labor in the world. I said it means to learn. The word of God. Not to speak the word to others. Alone. But to learn the word. To understand the word. To go in depth of the word. So we can understand what God is saying per time. It is another thing for somebody to tell you. That God will de declare that your problem is over. It is for another person to tell you that as God lives in who I am and who I stand and before you know him the problem you think you are carrying will disappear. What is the difference between the two people? That somebody has given himself to the word of the Lord. And by that, he knows the right word to use. It is different for, for somebody to just speak a word because every other person has saying it. The word of God is not something you just cash up up. You just wake up one morning and say that it is written. When the word is written, it is just a letter. A letter and in the book of Second Corinthians, chapter three, verse six. The Bible says, "For the minister, the minister we have received through Christ is not by letter." He said, because the letter kills it. But it's inside the spirit that we have the abundance of life. So when you have the letter alone, it is very possible that the letter will not be meaningful in your hand or your mouth. But when you want the word in the spirit, it, there will be a difference. Because the Lord himself will reveal himself to you in his word. And that is what I want us to understand. Most of us, what make our Bible attracted to us, it is because on Sunday, we have to carry our Bible to the church. And that person will have a problem. And he will now carry the Bible. Say, it is written in the word of God, though, that the Lord will fight your battle. Without a relationship with the word, it cannot be effective. So give it labor in the world. Labor in the word of God. Means to give your attention. To give your totality. To give your person. Into the in-depth study of the word of God. And when you are studying the word of God. 
God will begin to reveal himself to you. And he will begin to show you the way to go. Give you the direction of your life. Most of us, we believe so much in what the man of God says. But the word is not in our heart. It cannot work for us like that. Until your faith that is what that man is saying and you cannot, you cannot just have a faith until the revelation of the word has been revealed to you until your faith carries the word the work will not work for you because that is what you must understand. So to labor in the world, I say until the word of God becomes a matter to you. You cannot be you cannot be matter to God. If the word of God did not become a matter to you, you can be God cannot concern you. You cannot be concerned and say, God, look at me. Oh, I am asking you, I'm your son. There is a relationship between the world and God Himself. Until you get the world, you can't get the attention of God. Until you have the world, you cannot say you are a child of God. Anybody that says he believes in God and does not understand the word of God is a bastard in the kingdom. And that is why we must realize that when we are talking about labor in the word of God, it is an assignment that we cannot run away from. How do you prepare for God's word when he has not been your friend? I'll just pick up your pen. And you begin to write. What are you writing? Who is giving you the in-depth? Where is the source coming from? Somebody will take John 3.16 and say for God so loved the world and gave his only son for all and people will be crying and another person will read the same John 3.16 and some people will say we didn't even hear what he said the only difference is this when you give yourself into the world you become like King Delhi God begins to reveal his own person into you so you don't do things the way others are doing it so you don't operate the way others are operating you begin to operate in the atmosphere of God himself now I want to tell you if God God did not sink into you if God word did not sink into you it cannot be effective in your mouth and that is why many of us many times we have seen we have taken God to be a liar and you will say by the power of God in me I declare as the oracle of God and God will be looking at you when was the last time you have a relationship with me who make you my oracle the word you are declaring when was the last time you visited the world most of us can go one week without the word of God but we can't go a day without hitting. But you feed your physical body and your spiritual being is dead you feed your physical body and the Bible says this body has no gain it, says it is only the spirit alone that brings profit to man you are buying a cloth of 10,000 for your body you have not been able to use an hour for the word of God and you say God I know you very well you don't know him at all you only know God through his word why do we live to, to labor in the world number one God's word is the 
measure of God. God war is the nature of God. So when you labor in the world, God begins to reveal himself as powerful. So when you say, am I God is a powerful God. You are not just saying it because people are saying it. You are saying it because you have received the realm of the world. When you say, my God can do all things, you are not just saying it because it is in the mouth of everybody. You are, so, you are saying it because God has revealed himself to you that I can do all things. The Bible says with man, it may be difficult. He said, but with me, all things. So when you are one challenge or the other, you are not referring to that, to that place as somebody as a novice. You are referring to that place of the Bible as somebody that has the conviction of that place. And when you challenge God by his word through his revelation, he put God into action for working for you. When you pursue God by his word, he brings his hand to action. And that is what we must realize. Most of course, we carry the nature of man. We are want to work with God that has the nature of God. That is why it is possible for somebody to prepare a very good summer and preach it now. Now, and when that person got home, it is possible for him to beat his wife. Do you know why? It's just the letter. The spirit has not entered the person. And the Bible said the letter kills it. It is only the spirit that gives life. That is why it is possible for somebody to talk about stealing, stealing now. And when he when talk about stealing, you don't want to steal again. You are thinking, how come will I be I will be stealing? I read the place in the Bible one day. Is that you that you say somebody should not steal? Don't you steal? He said, you that you say people should not commit adultery. He said, don't you commit adultery? He now said, what? He said, do you learn Christ like that? That shows when you begin to study the world, it will begin to tell you who is Jesus Christ. What is the nation of God? And when you say something, because the word is sick inside you, you will live by the word. Not by attitude. Not by character. Not by rudiment or doctrine. You begin to live in the world. And as you live in the world every day, it becomes your path and passion. And you can say something here. And when you get to America, you will see the same person. Nothing will change in you. Because the Bible says something. He said the word of God is yea and amen. That shows nothing can change it. So you don't behave as a holy brother in Lagos. And when you go to a kitty, you say let's try and dog bones you. Because nobody is looking at me. Because if you have the word, you will carry it all around. The word of God is universal. When he enters you, you become who you are. No time for pretense again. Because you're living in the world. The book of James chapter 1 verse 16 to 18. Now, number two point. The word of God. Help you. To live a life. 
Then you become like him. The Bible says, as we behold him, we behold his glory. We begin to look at him from one glory, from one degree to another. Hallelujah. Amen. A lot of people. They like ministration. When I received that thing some days ago, I was, I was loving in my spirit. He said preparation. Preparation. Is the mother of ministration. If God did not prepare you, if you do not prepare from the source, you will be speaking a good grammar. And at the end of it, people will say, what, what, what is this saying? And somebody will come with a very bad vernacular. And you will be missing English with Yoruba. And that person will burst into words. And people will be on their knees. I read of a man. Jonathan Jonathan Edward. The, the, they said that man, he doesn't write his sermon. No, he doesn't, he doesn't know how to prepare his sermon. Anytime he wants to preach, he will write it word by word. He will write it word to word. And he will be reading it to people. And people cannot stand the word because it has been baked from the hope of fresh. Because there is a source that is giving them an inspiration. And when he gives the word, they are say, they, they, we have it in the record that that man has one of the best salmon in the world. And he said, the sinner is in the hand of the angry God. Up to now. When people refer to that salmon, they, 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 they will say this is not somebody can just do. Now, the word of God is the light of the world. So when you are in the midst of problem, when darkness seems to take charge of your life, the book of John chapter 1, Four, five, and nine. He said, he said, the world becomes the light. And darkness cannot comprehend it. You are not just saying the word. You know, you, somebody will just wake up in the morning. He doesn't have the revelation of the light. He will just go to the book of Psalm. And say, God is my, is my light. Why, why shall I stumble? God is my guide. He will not allow me to stumble now. My brother, you will stumble. You know why? If you don't have a relationship with the world, it, it, it will be like you are just making a noise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, don't let the world be far from you. When somebody knows the world, you won't need to preach about, about uh, uh, what types of him again. He said, those people that gives, they don't give because they, they want people to call them a, a giver. They give because they understand. Number one, no, uh, that the principle of giving, he said there is a hand that gives it, and he has more every time. And there is a hand that we told that every day was shouting lack, lack, lack. So when it becomes their personal issue, nobody needs to tell them to give again. They have the light and understanding. When you are sick and you, you want God to heal you and the doctor has tell you that the back in your load because this sickness keep people a lot. And you are, you, are, you are a woman of the world. You will just tell the doctor. The world told me that I bore my infirmity. And by stripe, I am healed. So, and the Bible says something. Who is that man that says something? Who is that doctor 
that say you are sick. Who is that Babala that say your business will not start? Who is that woman that say you will not have your baby? You are going to tell to that man I'm facing. And say the Bible say it will not stand. Because it is not from the mouth of God. Can somebody shout hallelujah? Hallelujah. So until you get to that revelation, you, you can you can begin to say whatever you when you have the revelation of prayer, nobody, will, nobody will, will force you to pray. You, 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 need, you, need to, you need to jump up. Oh. You, you need to do like this. Oh. Because the word itself will manifest in your life. The word of God will give direction. Psalm 119, verse 105. One, one, nine. The one, revelation one, of God's word give man. The revelation of God is given to man through the word of God. So when you labor in the world, you are going to be in charge of your life. You command what comes in and what goes out of your life. You dictate what happens in your environment and your business. You make sure this is what you are permitted and this is what is not permitted. Is anybody here tonight that you want to be in charge of your environment? Or you want to be in charge of your life? You need to in the world. Let's stand up and we pray together. Shall we put our hands together for that powerful word that has been spoken to us. Clap very, very, very well. And I appreciate God for sending your, his word into your life. There is a word for every man and there is a word for every woman. We have words for every season. I appreciate God once again. Put your hands together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Every year, you must have a word from God. The Yoruba will call it a commono. You must have an a commono. Watch word. Well, God bless you, sir. For borrowing me that English. Every year, you must have a watch word. And you run with that word. That word is for you alone. It will even be for your family, your wife, and your children. One of our mothers here shared a testimony with me two weeks ago. That every year, God gives a a song. God used to give her a song for everyone. That same way, you must run after God for a word. And that is a word that will carry you throughout the year. Hallelujah. Mine, mine is in Psalm 44. I won't tell you the verse. <laughs> Psalm 44 for this year. I won't tell you the verse. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stop running for sure. Stop running after sure and bag at the and beginning of the year. Uh, I was listening to a man of God today. He said, Some men of God today they are looking for food. Instead of looking for power, look for power first. Then food will come. Power attracts food. <laughs> power attracts anointing. Power attracts money. Hallelujah. 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 Anointing attracts money. And if I'm a woman, woman, boy, boy, man, follow me to revival at uh, satellite. One day, Thursday and Friday, I went to satellite for revival. Because of the terrible nature of that road, I park, I asked my driver to park inside first. 
That's not what I want to say. In the last day of my ministration, the woman was for me. He was pursuing me. After my ministration, the young man is here. He, can, I mean, he was pursuing me. He said, I am led to sow this into your life. He was pursuing me as if it was, it was running 100 meters. Anointing attracts money. Power attracts money. Pray this prayer. Father, put me in charge of my environment. <laughs> put me in charge of my environment. Put me in charge of my environment. Father, make me open your mouth and pray that prayer. Father, put me in charge of my environment. Put me in charge of my environment. Put me in charge. Put me in charge of my environment. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Put me in charge. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. We are fasting now. And bow right. Some people will not fast. I will go bow it. My daughter in the house. Oh no, I'm not going to do that. You don't need that. You go wash your meat, show me by. The all his clothes is, is getting. Uh, he's he's lean. He's lean. She's lean now. I'm going to let you see, man. Kaka. You haven't done what he yet. That you go wash your meat, show me by. Oh my God, is is. I'm going to let you see, man. Kaka. Akbar alufi shereme. He's talking with power. Oh, she she Akbar ani. You are walking power. Hey, you walk for power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You work for power and authority. Hey, we are we are seeing action of power. We are seeing action of power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's sing the songs. Write it in your notes. Corey, see like majority me no bossy. No like no like them see me. It's power. Majority me bossy. No like no like them see me inside the basket. Me that they are calling a glory child. Majority me no bossy. No like them found me in the casket. Majority me no bossy. No like them found me in the casket. Majority me no bossy. No like them found me in the casket. Me that the world is calling a glory son and granddaughter. No like them see me in the casket. Majority power. That you not die suddenly. That you not die before your glory. Sorrow, 
Thank you, Father. In Jesus, mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. One of my daughters had a dream last week. I only ask her to sing a song. I said, so, 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 so. I want to give her an assignment. You sing a song tonight. And you will see what happens. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She obeyed for an hour. She sang this song. Oh, and all of a sudden, what did you according to her, she saw this dog oh, yeah, pursuing her. Don't terrible dog pursuing her. Oh, yeah. I jump, I jump. The bad day, I jump in the morning. What lie? When you when you see a dog in the dreams, they are they are wish. I want Jenny. If I can copy it, why? Somebody asks. The power to walk through the gate of my enemy. Abala, Tima Fury. One day, I know what you live for. I need to go to school. I'm not going to Tima Fury. The power It is one thing to walk through the gate of your enemies. It is another thing to possess their gates. You, you, you don't only really walk, but you possess their gates. I want to possess the gate of my enemy. Power to possess the gate of my enemy. The power come upon me today. See you. 
To my friend or alone, down and down. You must love it. You must love it. The last prayer, I draw to keep. Father, make me a container of your word. Oh, you are just to me bow when. Make me a container. She do me let it just fell away of your word today. Make me a container. You are just giving to me. Look at that church. I will be in the giant. Make me a container of your word. Check in with me, Papa. Father, make me a container of your word. Oh, Lord, shout out to me, Papa. Make me a container. Check in with me, Papa. Of your word, Papa. Make me Lord. Check in with me, Papa. Container of your word. And it's on my blood. I embrace your word today. Oh, Lord, I'm a friend. Let my spirit, let my mind, let my soul. Okay, me, me, your God. Embrace your word. Friend, oh Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. Amen. And my brother said, Daddy, I'll, I'll, I'll be asking Baba. I've not done anything against witches and wizards. No, teach him go for my jet. Only you don't have to do anything. Oh, you know, Daddy, she will go for the moment they discover you have glory. If I don't have to go, oh, you go. And a good future. I see a year to Dara. You become their target. Why didn't you have a car? You know, I learned from me. Yeah, the voice of the Lord. I'm the Lord Gormonio. You are a glorious child. You are a glorious child. You are a child of destiny. Oh, Jeremiah, I lie on my own. You will not enter the casket suddenly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We are going home by the church. And we have received tonight. If only you can say amen. The word of God will work for you this year in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever has not worked in your life, in your family, in your business, by the word, I command such things to work for you in the name of Jesus Christ. God will make you a container of his word in the name of Jesus Christ. Every negative word working against you, working against your family, working against your marriage, working against your, your destiny, let such word be reversed in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. In the time of the
Let me tell you, I used to use my life. I spend my life. If I have 10 ministration in a day, I work with time. The first ministration. Off. Second ministration will come. Ike Jawa. Off. Ayokuro. Ten o'clock we come now. Si agume wa wa. Level we come. E amogu mo kono. Twelve we come. Agome ji lawa. One o'clock. Agoko. Two o'clock. Agome ji. And then I will return home. Ah se parasile. You will fulfill your assignment in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Jesus Festival this year. Eh, Odu Jesus Festival. Odu is going to be a special.